Here is an arithmetic question. It's a three-digit number multiplied by a two-digit number, and it's been taken from a previous SATS paper. As you can see, it's been awarded zero marks. It's incorrect. Can you find the error? So pause the video, see if you can find the er error. When you're ready, switch play. Okay, so let's find the error, and we'll do that by working through the whole question from the very beginning. So 607 multiplied by 83. To multiply by 83, we need to partition 83 into 8 tens and 3 ones, and we'll multiply 607 by each, beginning with three ones. So we'll start with the ones column. Seven multiplied by three is 21, which is one. And we can exchange 20 ones for two tens. Zero tens multiplied by three is zero. Add on the exchange two tens will be two tens. 600 multiplied by three is 1800, which is 800 and 1,000. We can delete the exchange two tens because we don't need it anymore. Now we will multiply by eight tens and we can do that by multiplying by 10, then multiplying by eight. If we multiply a number by 10, we need to make sure all the digits move one place value column to the left. And we can do that by adding a placeholder zero. Now we can just multiply by 8. So 7 multiplied by 8 is 56, which is the 6, and we can exchange the 5. 0 multiplied by 8 is 0. Add on the exchange 5 is 5. And 6 multiplied by 8 is 48. So we record the 8 and exchange the 4 into the column on the left. Now we need to recombine these two numbers, and we can do that by adding them. So 1 add 0 is 1. 2 tens add 6 tens is 8 tens. 800 add 500 is 1300, which is 300 and 1000. 1000 add 8,000 is 9,000, add on the exchanged 1,000 is 10,000, which is 0 and 1 ten of thousands. 4 tens of thousands and 1 ten of thousands is 5 tens of thousands. So the correct answer is 50,381. The answer of 6,677 6, is incorrect. So when we compare the working we can see that the placeholder zero that we used here is missing in the written out calculation. So that is the error. The placeholder zero has not been used when multiplying by a tens digit. So please remember when you're multiplying by a two digit number, don't forget that zero.